Get ready to match some Memphians. We are live from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm your host and your hero, Kevin Cerrito. We're back for season number two of Matching in Memphis. Season number two of Matching in Memphis will be coming your way on the second Monday of the month, starting tonight. Yes, starting tonight. We got some awesome prizes we're going to give away. I'll tell you more about these later on, but we're giving away uh, to an at-home winner. That could be you watching at home or wherever you're watching us tonight. Uh, you can win. Uh, we've got a pair of tickets to see Elvis Costello this Wednesday night at Graceland and Trey Kennedy coming up later on this month at Graceland. So uh, go to CerritoEntertainment.com or type uh, exclamation matching in the Twitch chat to find out how you can play along live if you're watching uh, with us over there on twitch.tv slash Cerrito Live. We're, of course, uh, simulcasting all over the internet uh, tonight. And as always, so we're, you may be seeing us on, on, on Facebook, on Twitter, and not on Periscope, because since the last time we did this, Periscope got uh, killed off by Twitter. So, But uh, Twitter is uh, Twitter Live now for the first time. But uh, if you want to win, go to CerritoEntertainment.com and figure out how to, how to do that. But you want to jump on over to our Twitch page for a chance to win some Malco movie passes uh, that we'll give away a little bit later on. But I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right to uh, introducing our panel. It has been so long, and I can't wait to catch up. Uh, with some of these familiar faces, uh, some of my uh, good friends. And uh, we're going to start tonight uh, introducing first, she is the best TV weather person in Memphis, according to the readers of the Memphis Flyer. You can watch her every morning in just a few hours on Local 24's uh, newly named, renamed ABC 24. Uh, she is a uh, Chelsea Chandler. She joins me now. Chelsea, how are you? I'm good. How are you? ABC 24. Yeah, actually, um, I have it on my phone case and I, it, it actually got me out of a speeding ticket the other day. So that was great. <laughs> it got you. How did it get you out of a speeding ticket? Well, I was running late to work and I mean, I have on like a f nice dress and like half my makeup and you get to keep mind. It's like three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. And the guy's like, where are you headed in such a hurry? And I was like, well, I'm to work. And he was like, where do you work? And I just picked up my phone. He's like, okay, just slow it down. I was like, you got it. How how, how have you been since the last episode of Matching in Memphis? Uh, the season one finale was October 1st of last year. We had a Christmas special. So we, uh, we had I, one episode. Was Christmas special? Yeah, there was a Christmas special in December. See, that's why I don't remember anything anymore because uh, a lot has <laughs> it's happened. It's been a year. It's been a year. <laughs> well, well, glad to have glad to have you back on the panel. We'll talk more as we go along and uh, give away some uh, prizes to everyone. Also uh, joining us, he wakes up early uh, as well. You can uh, listen to him every morning on ninety eight one The Max. He is the Country Corey of Danny and Country Corey. Joins us. How are you, Country Corey? Yo, how are you, Kevin? Good to see you again, Chelsea. Hey. Good, good to see you, Corey. I enjoy listening to you in, in the morning uh, now with with Danny. Every, everybody gets up early. I mean, that's what we're going to do. 98 won the max. I mean, we're just real people and just living life on the radio pretty much. I mean, nothing's off limits. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing if you uh, what what you have in store for. That, that not only the viewers, but for me tonight. Uh, coming up also on our, on our panel. Oh, no. What do we got? We got something. <laughs> <laughs> Country Corey is here. Also uh, jo joining us. Uh, she uh, was voted best comedian in Memphis, the funniest person in Memphis for many, many years until they, they had to retire the category because nobody else ever won. Uh, you uh, will recognize her as one of your your uh, favorite panelists here on Magic in Memphis. She is Katrina Coleman. Katrina, <laughs> they didn't retire the belt. We, we just stopped doing stand up. <laughs> <laughs> but I will maintain that I am undefeated. Undefeated right. after undefeated. four years. Katrina, how how have you been? Good. I mean, as well as can be expected. I haven't done much live, but I'm hoping real soon to uh, bring back You Look Like, as well as a new project with Skinny down at High Town. We got pushed back a little bit. We were hoping to do it this month, but we got some fun stuff coming. I'm looking forward to be out in public again. Uh, I mean, City of Memphis hasn't 
felt ashamed for my public drunkenness for two years almost. So it's time. It's time. <laughs> All right. Well, it's great. Great to have you back on the the panel, uh, Katrina. Here, uh, we've got some uh, f- fun stuff uh, coming up in just a few moments. Making his matching in Memphis debut. He's a former contestant on uh, Last Comic Standing. He is the host of Three Eight One One Four Show. He is Ambrose Jones. What's up, Ambrose? Can you hear us now? We've had some technical problems at the start. Uh, with Ambrose, and it looks like when we thought they were all fixed. I mean, I can go get my dad. It's his birthday. You want your dad to be the next, the other panelist here? It's his 81st birthday. Why not? 81. Well, happy birthday. Yeah. So it's the 11th? This is a good time of the year to be born. Mine was last Wednesday. So Yeah, we just took pictures out in the front yard. (laughs) <laughs> oh wait okay, let's see. hey hold those like back up finger. hold those back let's see those pictures here that cupcake looks like a middle finger it's not it's, it's his what? name <laughs> that's me that's my face in the middle of the eight and yes big, i have a yeah. heart-shaped light big money <laughs> big money in the yard decorations for birthdays but those uh, are like hard like those are like actual like wood not the like paper ones not that bullshit what, what, what did you make them? Where do you get them? What happened? How does this no, work? No, my mom. I don't know. Your mom found them somewhere. The, yeah. uh, all right, let's try to connect again with Ambrose. Let's try to do that because we are getting close. Yes, we have one more panelist after Ambrose Jones that you might recognize. But are, are you there, Mr. Jones? Can you hear us? I don't. I don't think he can. That we might have lost him. Oh. Wait, we got, we got, we do have, uh, let's see, I think we just got connected with somebody else who folks m- might be familiar with. Oh, I haven't seen him in so long. I want to see him. I'm going to get the wrong idea if you act like that. No, he won't. <laughs> He'll get the right idea. He knows exactly what idea it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So I, I, I know I, I'm in, anticipating this reunion more than, uh, Almost anybody besides Chelsea and and maybe Muck, but he is uh, a musician, a pajama record holder. He is the anchor, the uh, the the last chair at the the blackjack table for matching in Memphis. Uh, Muck Sticky. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Good to see you. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes, we can hear you. Good to see you. Muck Sticky coming to us live. Maybe I need to move the camera up like this. See, you know why I know that we are soulmates? Look at both of us and our lights. Check it out. We we got it going on, don't we? (laughs) Buck, are you you on a party bus? What's happening here? Man, no, this is is my studio, man. (laughs) Muck's whole life is a party bus. Just exactly, (laughs) dude. Katrina knows. But what, uh, where, <laughs> what have you been up to? How have you been? I, I know you've been, you've been uh, bouncing around the country. A lot of folks in the chat mentioning that. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been all over the place, man. I, uh, right, man, I'm sorry I'm late tonight, too. I'm a little behind. I've just been, oh, sorry, I keep losing you. <laughs> it's, it's crazy around here. It's crazy around what? here. Look, we were covering for you. Nobody knew you were late. Nobody knew that you missed the uh, the, the well, uh, I'm pre-show just, meeting. You know, I'm pre-show honest meeting. Fellow, so, Muck yeah. Sticky is never oh. late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> That's exactly right, is man. Muck Sticky a wizard? Right, bro. I'm always on time, no matter what. Right, we're try- we're going to... Uh, Ambrose has switched devices. So we're going to get to Ambrose Jones, who's our, who's our other panelist. We're going to catch up with all of y'all here. Uh, if you want to play uh, again tonight, you can uh, make sure to see if I can get this uh, something Yo, Excuse uh, me for on one the second. I got, I got a tennis up real quick. Yeah, sure. And, well, while, what is he doing? How you know Sugar Puss? You know what he's doing. Sugar Puss oh, is great. Puss. She's doing great. Oh. Good. We get like it's, it's so great to see all of y'all here. I'm very, it's very, not very happy. To see here. I'm excited about this. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna rock and roll. All right, let's 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 bring in let's bring in Ambrose Jones. Uh, try to bring him in here, Ambrose. Yeah, look. Yeah, hey, connection is the connection is much better. 
Look at your face. All right. Good beard shot. There you go. How you doing? You have a great beard, Ambrose. You do. Thank you. Thank you. Am I allowed to tell him that uh, in my heart, you'll always be broski? <laughs> yeah, broski cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm yeah. broski. Bro, you know what? That was fake. That was that was Go my ahead. first name, name uh, on stage. Broski. Bro you went from Broski, Broski to Ambrose Jones the third. Clearly, you uh. Is that your real name now? Oh, that's name? how my homeboy used to call me. Yeah. What's your real name? Ambrose Jones. Is that like something else? Like that's what I was asking. Oh, so sure. like, yeah, sure. I was just asking if Ambrose was your real name. That's cool. Yeah, okay, it, okay, yeah, panel. it means immortal. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it might have been short, like something like Ambrosia. I was trying to get all fancy with you. I mean, clearly we know Muck's real name is Muck. I mean, <laughs> right, right. Given yeah, ever. yeah, because the, the the name that you're that they give you when you're born is your given name. That's a given name. Your real name is to be something you decide for yourself. Like if you want to be called, don't knock you know, Linda's choices. Can, that's fine with me. Do Whatever. knock, don't knock up. Linda's choices. Okay. No, she did. Right. You're right. She did. I'm not knocking her choices. I'm just saying it was given. Yeah, yeah, we know that. It's already starting. You better. We're gonna, <laughs> we're, yes, we're going to have plenty of time to catch yeah. up. I, uh, we all know that. Yes. Muck was on your birth certificate. Country Corey was on his birth certificate. Uh, yeah, we know that. All right, let's get to it. We got to start uh, with this. Kevin, yes. you look like uh, the brother, the, the real estate brother from Step Brothers. Your hair he does. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I'll take that as a compliment. Bill in the blank. <laughs> Give me your best uh, sweet child of mine. All right, maybe. <laughs> Maybe later. No, you're ruining it. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Let's remind everybody about a very particular thing that they need to know about. Katrina, your microphone is all kinds of messed up. Yeah, something's yeah, happening, Katrina, fault. on your end. Wow. Your end. Right. I don't know. You've yeah, turned into fault. some. Uh, you, did you spill water on it? But I will, I will remind folks, this is an after live after hours game show. The panel's answers and the team uh, team names uh, do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Cerrito Entertainment of any of our sponsors. Damn viewer it, discretion, viewer discretion <laughs> is advised. But I will also remind you that um, you know we don't have really any sponsors, so we're sponsored by blank here. Uh, the oh, if you'd like to sponsor Cerrito Entertainment. There you go. We do have we we do have though we do have some awesome prizes tonight, and let's take a look at what we're giving away to uh, some uh, lucky winner this evening. So we've got a pair of tickets to go see Trey Kennedy at uh, Graceland. He'll be at Graceland on October twenty second. Muck, are you familiar with Trey Kennedy? Um, is that the guy from the? Movie where he wanted to be a white rapper or whatever. Or Jane, no, that's Jamie. Kennedy. That's Jamie Kennedy. That's uh, Jamie Kennedy. Trey Kennedy. No, I can't say <laughs> him. Who? Who is that? Chelsea, you know all about him, right? I do. He's the one who makes all the really funny videos. It's like a white girl in fall. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't, he makes. He just makes a bunch of viral videos. Oh, everyone keeps sending me like him as like a fake uh, traffic and weather reporter, and he like goes off and stuff. He just makes viral videos. He's funny. He's a great comedian. Cool. All right. Yeah. So he'll be a great. Since we got a pair of tickets uh, to to that show it, going to the winner, but that's that's not all. Uh, we got a maybe you know maybe you've heard of this other uh, person. We've got tickets to. If I can try to change the graphic, but have you heard of Elvis Costello? Have you heard of Elvis Costello? Look. Uh, have I heard of him? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Veronica's Absolutely. a great smoker. I heard he's not a really nice guy, though. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you can find out live if you win tonight. Wednesday, he'll be at Graceland. All right. Graceland. I, yes. I, 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 Elvis Costello at Elvis Presley's place. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Elvis hey, is that Trace Kennedy guy? Is he related to Jamie Kennedy by chance? I don't think so. Yeah. I, I think, think that's his cousin. 
he was really funny in that Bowfinger movie. Oh wait, that wasn't him. <laughs> yeah, well, it's no one. I don't know. Shit. D- does anybody know what has happened to Katrina and her voice? No, nope. your microphone. Uh, it was messed up earlier. Remember? No, earlier we couldn't see her. We could hear, but we couldn't see her. Now we can see her. We can't hear. Katrina, good can you thing, jump off? Good thing What's we're that? just holding up pictures with words. Yeah, that's true. We don't have to hear what she says. We'll see what she's she's fiddling with something there uh, behind hey. the scenes. So you want, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Kevin, you told me don't use my phone. I'm on my phone and it's working better than a computer. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I skirted here. I, I was passing cops trying to get here to be here on time, and I could have gone live on my phone. I show better. I show better in everything. My face looks 100% better. Yes, yeah, much better. <laughs> but yeah, we, I mean, you can try it. Sometimes the phone doesn't work, but we know for you definitely a, a telephone for, for Ambrose Jones. Katrina, can you talk? To, can you do a mic check for everybody? Oh, Unsuccessful. Wow. No, I can't hear you. You're going to need to use sign language. I'd like to yeah. have that effect, though. It sounds, it sounds like she's underwater. It does. I don't no, know what's going on. No, I can't hear. No, I can't hear. The all right, so if you want to uh, enter, so you could this is how you can enter. We're about to start the game, so it's all about matching with our panelists. Uh, your goal this evening and every time on Matching in Memphis to get the uh, just to match with the, the panel that you see here. We'll have fill in the blank questions, you will uh, fill in that blank. And if you are a patron, so that's how you participate. Uh, this go around is uh, jumping in over on Patreon. So that's how you get the links and participate in this game. You can go to patreon.com slash Serena. There's me and a bunch of other people. That's a confusing graphic. Where is, where, okay, so Katrina, are you, can you unplug your microphone? Can we, can we do it uh, that way? Or what are you, you going to try something? I'm, all, I'm all, all for, or just jump out and come back in. That always works with, you know, an intended. Hey, we could just, we could just like play uh, guest lip reading and pretend we, like guess what she says maybe and see how that works <laughs> oh, <laughs> go ahead oh, just saying no oh. i Bye-bye. hope love juice try yourself just try getting on yourself you know, like i did and <laughs> I we might those we'll pre- that was right i hope love juice right we we also have we also have uh, another prize. So yes, become a patron if you want to win the team the team or the person. So you can play as an individual or a person, and whoever gets the most matches will get both a pair of tickets to see Trey Kennedy on October twenty second and a pair of tickets to see Elvis Costello this Wednesday night. Uh, both shows in Graceland. Both prizes going to whoever can get the most matches tonight. CerritoEntertainment.com. It's up there on the screen. You got to match with our panel. We got it. We got to get this this uh show rolling a little bit it's 8 30 hey we didn't even just start till 8 30 actually so i think we're i think we're doing all right but yeah i think we're doing okay <laughs> the uh let's see oh we're gonna give you a chance to win one more prize though so now matching's important right this is matching in memphis we'll also give you a chance to win one other prize just by watching in memphis if you watch on over jump on over to the uh twitch page and you can enter our random giveaway. We've got a random giveaway on Twitch. You got to be watching on Twitch in order to enter in this. You, you type in exclamation ticket. Here we go. The giveaway is underway if you're watching over there on our Twitch page. Uh, right now, you can enter to win. If you're not there, you can jump on over and enter. Uh, we're giving away a pair of Malco movie passes to one random viewer on Twitch. So hey, all hey. you got to do is exclamation ticket in the chat for a chance to win Malco movie passes. So hey, you can go. What's playing at Malco right now? What is yeah. The Venom movie's supposed to be good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It looked pretty good. I saw the trailer. When's the new Matrix movie come out? Is it out <laughs> I think it comes out yeah. in December. Yeah, it is December. I think we're cool. living in it. <laughs> yeah. Let me know what you well, yeah. like I don't live in it. I'm just I'm here participating. All right. Katrina, it's not. Katrina, can you just get out and come back in? See if that helps at all. Let's see. I'm, I'm kicking Katrina. Your ex out has a second. long one. Is that what she said? <laughs> she might need to figure. What did she say, Mark? I think she said my ex has a long one. 
<laughs> well, sure. Note that for a fill in the blank question in, in the future. So we're about to get started. If you uh, hey. you can still jump in on the game, so we're going to start with our first question in just a moment. Hey, is it, uh, isn't it Chelsea? Chelsea, how's your dad? And his birthday today? Is his birthday today? Happy <laughs> birthday, Dad! Yeah, it's his happy big, birthday. His eighteenth birthday. Eighteenth birthday. Congratulations, sir! Happy birthday. Sorry, Kevin. You tell him I say happy birthday. <laughs> I, I will. I'm sure he heard it himself. You know, Katrina, do you want to say happy birthday? I'm biggest fan. I do want to say happy birthday. Oh, hey. 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 Oh, hey. Good. Hey. 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 Good. Yay. I'm so glad that I can uh, run my stupid pothole. Yeah. That is, yeah, that's, 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 what, that's all what we wanted. You got a pothole? <laughs> that's why I didn't want you to do my lip reading. You can't even hear me when I talk. <laughs> I love you, Mark. It's good to see. All right, is everybody is, 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 is everybody ready? We ready. I got my pen. I got my pad. I got my drink. I'm ready. Mark, it's been since December of 2020 that we've uh, played matching in Memphis, and and uh, it's been over a year since season number one concluded. Are you ready? Do you have your board? Did you take it with you at your new location? Well, it's dead right now, so <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I can improvise and do a small version. He called us a month and a half ago. <laughs> yo, I can still do it, yo. Chill. There you go. There you go. That's what's up. All right. All right. Chill. It'll work. It'll work. Let's get to the first question, y'all. So if you're playing from at home, if you are a part of our Patreon community, go to, go to the Patreon website, get your links you need to fill it out. Of course, even if you're not a patron, you can still win by watching. You can win, still, still win by, by uh, I don't know who's talking here. Uh, you can still win by, you can still win by uh, just watching in Memphis uh, over on the Twitch page. Everybody ready? Ambrose, who are you talking to? Can we? Is it your son? My, my son is, yeah, my bad. Just step in and say, hey, real quick. I'm sorry. I was talking to yeah. my son. Hey. You said, you Wait, why was that a grown man's hand? That was an adult. Yeah, he's 16. He, he, he's 16. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ben. They should grow up early. In these I've days. been cracking jokes about him for a long time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kids are great material. We've known each other for a long time. All your jokes are like, oh, my little little prophet. Oh my gosh, my two favorite people, Nick and Diane, just got on. Hi. Hi, Nick and Diane. So. Quick little story. If you um, saw Come From Away, it's like the true story of um, all the planes that were diverted. They were coming off the across the Atlantic on 9-11 and they got stuck in a little town in Gander. And anyway, they're like the two fa- the best characters, but it's based off real life. They met on the plane. Nick is from England. Diane is from Texas. And I got to interview them uh, last week and they adopted me, which is perfectly acceptable. And I love them dearly. They're back in Texas, but they just wrote and they're watching. So is that them in the chat? Yes. That's Hi Nick. Diane. It's like my new BFF. <laughs> and thank you to all who are saying happy birthday to my dad. Y'all are so sweet. I oh, I love you too, Nick. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't wait. Uh, I hope they. I can't wait for to watch them. An- you answer these f- upcoming questions. <laughs> I, told him not gonna happen. I, I told him in advance <laughs> that it was. Um... <laughs> they missed the disclaimer. They came after the disclaimer. Well, I told him. I told him it would be um, after hours. All right. If you're playing at home, you're gonna have about two minutes to answer the question. Here comes question number one. Let's get this started. It is time to uh, play some matching in Memphis. All right. Here we go. Question one, blank game. Blank game. If you're watching along, feel free to jump into the chat and put what you would put as the answer if you would like. Our panel is currently working on their answer to the question, and uh, our patrons are participating. They're putting in the answers for a chance to win those tickets, as you know, Trey Kennedy, Elvis Costello tickets on the line tonight. Uh, for those uh, in our patron community, you can become a member and uh, 
try to win. Uh, also, we're going to have awesome grand prizes every single month as uh, Matching in Memphis is back. We are back. Uh, second Monday of the month. We're going to have rotating grand prizes to compete for. My, my goodness. I mean, I know Chelsea has been wanting both of these prizes. It's true. Uh, but uh, let's see. So blank like game. Thing. Blank game. The clock is ticking right now at the at the moment. Uh, Country Corey has already got his, his answer filled out. Ambrose, what's in that right? No, no. <laughs> Hold on. Ambrose, what's in that right Don't cup, put it bro? up yet. Don't put it up yet. All right, hey, Corey. Hey, I'm ready, man. So you are now uh, in the mornings with Danny on 98 won the max. Yep. That's right. I guess you want uh, to talk about that for a while. Well, you know, I was just, just wondering. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. It's Yeah, we're having a great time. Everything is, uh, man, Danny and I getting together. It was something I never really expected. I've known Danny, obviously, forever. But Danny Bruns is one of the funniest people on the face of the planet. And to be able to do a show with her, man, just it's she makes it easy <laughs> to be funny. She makes it easy to have a funny show, is what I'm saying. She's way funnier than I am. I just keep it between the lines. <laughs> I don't I don't, I don't know about that. But 98 won uh, the max uh, every morning. I, I definitely agree about the, the Danny stuff. I mean, she if she's not already, she's becoming a, a, a radio icon uh, in in this in this market for sure. For sure, but uh, Corey, great, great to have you back with us. It can great, get great, it can get great rowdy. To be back with my incredible lighting, I like. Yeah, I do like your outdoor setup is fantastic. We got to get you on, like we're booking you on. Got to make sure we get Corey on while the while it's not cold out, so you can still. <laughs> would you still set up? I'll just sit out here with a coat on. It's fine. All right. So if, if you're on, I'll get, my, I'll, I'll get my parka. If you're on the January show, you'll still be out in the same setup, most likely. All right, Blake, blank game. Uh, last chance to get your answers in. We've hit we've hit the limit. Yeah, we've hit the time limit here. We're just getting over this one. Was this hard, easy? What do you what do you think, Muck? Is this uh, having? It's not time for you to show your answer yet. I'm just uh, asking. Yeah, no, nah, it's a. Uh, this is an interesting one. I'm I'm curious to see what everybody does. Uh, you're gonna make me go last, though, right? Yeah, yeah. You of course. Yeah, you go last. That's where okay. you go. Cool. Just making sure. Because I got a bunch of different answers. So do I. In my head. No, no. I need to know what Ambrose just showed his like family that made him laugh so hard. <laughs> you got the giggles right now. All right, we are cutting off the answers. You must have your answers submitted if you haven't submitted your answers already. If you are playing from home, we do recommend. That's another reason we recommend you playing on Twitch. So we're all on the same stream at the same time. Uh, so we are cutting off the time there over uh, for everybody participating at home trying to win those tickets to Graceland. Still got a chance, though, to enter and win those Malco movie passes. All right. We've cut it off. Let's see. Blank game. Blank game. Chelsea, you're okay, up first. Well, I mean, this is an obvious answer, but I went ahead and put a couple different answers. Uh, so we'll start with video game. Oh, there we go. Video game. Oh, video game. Okay. We're on Twitch. That works. Foosball. But it's actually football. Just that was... Um, Bobby Boucher style um, Hunger Game. Oh, but yeah. I'm match game. Wait, wait. So match game. Come on. So, so your answer is match game. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Well, there's a couple of answers that make sense on this, the 11th of October, 2021. Corey, country Corey. I just went with one answer. It's real simple. Don't hate the player. <laughs> hate the game. The game. The game. The game. <laughs> that that was the make first sense. thing that came to mind, and that's the answer that I went with. And that's what you do. That's what you do. Now, uh, I don't know how Chelsea came up with hers. I really don't. Uh, the, <laughs> I have to think on my feet for a job of my living. So <laughs> That's how she came up with match game. I don't know. We, yeah. uh, Am Ambrose, you're up. Uh, let's see. What, what do you have? What's your answer? Blank game. Okay. Okay. I came up with. The one, then I was like, that's too normal. So I had to come with something different. Squid game. Squid game. Here we go. Oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> Has anybody watched this yet? Has anybody watched this? Yes. Yeah, I have. Yes. Yes. Uh, you watched all of it? All of y'all have watched all of it? I've well, gotten most of the way through it. I'm not done yet. All right. Well, no spoilers. No spoilers. It's not a spoiler. I'm just going to tell you, if you like it, there's another one that's kind of similar that's called Alice in Underland that's in Tokyo. 
Alice in it's Borderland. good, it, but it gets kind of slow in the middle, but it pays off. Chelsea, it's Alice in Borderland. No, it's Underland. It's not Underland. <laughs> I'll watch that one today. Or maybe we're talking about different shows. Maybe they're just. I think it's Alice, Alice in Wonderland. I think it's I'm Alice in Wonderland, and it's a Disney picture. I think. I <laughs> what it is. Ka Katrina, Katrina, you're uh, up next. We'll do our research on to, to, to of the uh, other versions of a Squid well, Game. I am a feminist and everything. This is also matching in Memphis, and as a '90s kid, it had to be. All right, we can't, we can't see, see it. it. Hold it, hold it closer. Hold it closer. What does it say? It we've got pimp oh game. pimp game. Pimp game. Pimp Strong. game. That's Strong. right. Making easy money, pimping in style. That's right. <laughs> oh, that is Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> Muck, you're up. So we've got all different answers so far. <laughs> We're all what are the answers, answers so far? I'm, I'm, guess, I'm, I'm guessing we've got people to win. Pimp game, squid game, <laughs> squid game. <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. I don't. We'll see what Muck does here. I, I know we at least have a couple. I know there's a Squid Game guess. There's got to be a Squid Game guess out there. Match Game. That's a that's a, a a good one. Pimp Game. I'll be surprised, but who knows? This is matching in Memphis. Muck. Uh, well, I am going to go with the 1998 American sports drama film written and directed by Spike Lee, starring Denzel Washington. He got game. He got game. All right, we've got different answers across the board. A lot of point opportunities. Uh, let me know if you're watching, if you got a point there or not. Uh, or, or let us know what your guess was if it was better. So many matches. Everybody's saying match. Of course, we're playing matching in Memphis, a game that many people have often compared to that other game called called match game. Hey, got game. Uh, Pool game was one. Thing. I don't know. Pool game? That was pandering to muck. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one in the comment I wouldn't read. <laughs> I wouldn't read that one. I can't see him. I saw that one. <laughs> I see yeah. an alligator or something in the comments. I'm not really No, that's, sure. it looks like a. It's a squid. Well, oh, that's a squid, but below yeah. it looks like a chihuahua or a corgi. Things get wild over there, over the, the Twitch comments. I think I Are have to ready? accept that I'm too old now. I can't be making 90s references anymore. It's done. It is in the past. Y'all, they have homecoming dress-up games. Now. Like, you know, they have themes. Uh, and it's early 2000s. I yes. asked my, I, yes, uh, that was my cousin. Years ago. This weekend, I saw my cousin. He was like, I don't like bright lights. I was like, what are you, a mogwai? And all of my cousins went, what's a mogwai? And I was like, um, I was going to go in the corner. I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> well, 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 Chelsea, Chelsea, I have trivia nights, and we're doing an early 2000 trivia night coming up. If you want, well, to... that's fine. Oh, it's so just, cool. it's just the fact that it, we have to accept. Doing... That. In my mind, the yeah, no. 70s were 30 years ago, not the 90s. Like that is. If if you really want to, like, yeah, give your mind to work and 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 maybe feel very old, uh, start doing those. Don't do that math. Look Otherwise, don't do, math. don't do the math. Don't do the math. Don't, don't do the math. math. Don't do the math. The <laughs> we're up on half a century, girl. High five. All right, we are we are playing match again, Memphis. We're about to get to the next question. So if you are if you are playing from home, get ready. Get your form ready. Fill out question number two because it's about to hit the screen. Things are about to get a little bit harder. Maybe. Who's playing music? I am, yeah. You don't want me to oh, turn okay. it off? No, no, no. I, 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 didn't, I thought I figured it was Muck. I was just questioning. What? 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 I thought the it was music. Muck. Do you like the music, Muck? Or? Uh, I thought I had a bond MJG on there a little bit ago. I was like, yeah, that's bumping, pimping, pimping. Kevin took all this time to work on his production value. He's been doing, like, he's saying, hey, we got work. background music now. Okay. okay right. I'm thinking the Cerrito logo at the top right of the screen. Yeah, I like it right Are over you? your forehead. All right. <laughs> here we go. Question number two is here. Dumb Dora is so dumb. How dumb is she? She went to a drive through vaccination site and tried to order blank. <laughs> Let's see. We had, I'm guessing, some matches in that last one. So this is question two. Again, Dumb Dora is so dumb. She went to a drive through vaccination site and tried to order blank.
Yeah, I like the background music. All right. Yeah. You like it? It's helping you think. It's helping you think. It's pimping, bro. All right. Son. Son. Oh. All right, let's go. Where is where? Let's see who we get. Who is let's who we get to talk to right now? Who we gonna talk to? Who we gonna talk to? Who we gonna who 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 who, who we gonna chat with here? <laughs> Katrina Coleman, your microphone's working. This is great. Sorry. Hey, Katrina. So last time you were on Matching Movements, we thought you know maybe you okay. would be doing a show sometime soon. The news of the vaccine was out there. Yeah, but then there was like the vaccine, but I have small children. And then there was like the Delta variant. I have done like a handful of open mics this year, but I went to open mic and so many comics were like really aggressively, like not take, just not taking it seriously. So I had to go home, but just trying to get by, trying to figure it out. Looking forward to getting back out again, doing a podcast right now, which is a uh, game similar to D and D. It's a tabletop role play game called Astronomica, which I have a well, lot of where do we with. Where do we listen to this at? Are we Astronomica, this? It, it's Astronomica, exactly how it sounds. It's on Reddit, it's on Facebook, it's on all of the things. And I'm guesting, and I've been guesting for about six months now. I have, have a lot of fun. I guess I'm, I got sparkly uh, D&D dice. I guess I'm, I'm back to my nerd roots. All right. Well, that's uh, cool. So here we go. Dumb door oh, is, okay. is so dumb. So with their drive-through vaccination site and tried to order blank. So we've got a couple more minutes. Feel free to let us know, as always, in the chat, wherever you're watching, what you would fill in the blank here. We're going to find Chelsea's out. Chelsea's deep in thought over there. Chelsea still does not know what her answer is. And, of course, she has got to answer first. That's just how it, how it goes. That's the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know that until you said no, it. No, I always didn't do I know. They always make me go first so everyone can copy my brilliance. because <laughs> no, she gets to go first because you can't be filthy like the rest of you us. You know, you're the quickest thinker because you have to think True. on your feet on being on TV. So, right. Right. But you have to think without bad words. like. Well, that doesn't mean I don't think with them. I just can't use them. Well, uh, Katrina, I mean, it is uh, as we, we go back to this question real quick before we reveal everybody's answers. Time is up. We're going to lock in your submissions if you are competing for those Trey Kennedy tickets, uh, the Elvis Costello tickets. But uh, this question is about is about vaccines, though, Katrina. And it is uh, it is you have young children. I have a young child. It is uh, very important. I say this message at all of our live events that I that we do around town because we are back live. Is I mean, do it, do it for the kids. If you haven't got vaccinated yet, a talk to your doctor and, and consider doing it for the kids. It's pretty much my message. Just talk to your doctor, see what they say. Absolutely, I got super excited. Like not only getting myself and my husband, getting all the grown-ups around them vaccinated, so that we could try to protect them. They're still they're back in school live. My oldest got her shots, and she had a handful of other shots she had to get for seventh grade and. When the youngest gets his shots in him, I'm going to lay on the floor and we cry and we're going to go to Target. We're all going to go to Target. <laughs> My youngest kid was like, you never take me to Target anymore. And I'm like, baby, I got to get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take him to Target. <laughs> we're going to do Target so hard. Uh, that's great. Um, yeah, that is like it's the small things. It's the small things <laughs> that we took for granted. <laughs> Target's not a small thing. It's the best thing. Fucking love Target. Okay, sure. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to find out. Reminder one more time. Dumb Dora is so dumb, she went to a drive through vaccination site and tried to order blank. Chelsea. Okay, well, you said do it for the kids. So, again, as always, I have a countdown to my answer. So, first I said fresh made honey with love from 901B Company. Hashtag do it for the grannies and grandpas. Um, okay. But that's not my final answer. Then I said ice cream. But then we all know that the ice cream machine wouldn't be working anyway. So, some form of burger and fries. So, some form of burger and fries. So, she's getting almost a full combo. She didn't get the drink. Well, you know, I was saying I'm, I was, <laughs> okay. it was a broad answer. So I'm like, food. we're trying to get some points. We're trying to get some points out. I there. try to help people. Yeah. Y'all try to make it difficult. C Country Corey. 
Well, for my countdown to my answer, I said the same thing as <laughs> Big Mac Whopper food, basically. But my final answer is gin. Oh, so that was your <laughs> at the drive through liquor store. Well, dumb they, Dora. She thought it was a drive through liquor store. <laughs> dumb Dora. She is dumb. Uh, Ambrose, what did uh, does she try to order blank? Oh, Why hold on. We got Chris Rock right now with glasses. Okay. Well, since yeah. she's dumb, she went to the <laughs> vaccination site trying to get some. <laughs> No. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it was that time of the month, I believe. It was that time of the month. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's possible for Dumb Door. Let's see. Katrina. Yeah, well, we are getting no multiple She tried to today. order what? Shots. Shots, 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 shots. <laughs> shots, shots. <laughs> So okay. The shots of it. the gin. Shots of gin. Like, okay. a, a point to have credit, just like shots. Did you get the shots? shots? Yes. Shot, 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 she was very shot. excited. I get, get shots in the drive-thru. <laughs> What's that? How do we score points? I want the team and uh, score points. How do we help score you points? Just got a match. They got a match with you. They're playing at home. They're playing at home right mm -hmm. now. They're filling out the form. Yes. They're trying yes. to match with you. You said tampons. Okay. I'm sure you got lots of matches on that one. <laughs> yes. But your rep, I do think your your first question legitimately probably got some points for some folks out there who have been binging Netflix. Oh, I, I know my audience. Yeah, and, game. I didn't even and, think about that. Uh, Katrina okay, so went with as, as, as Katrina proved, you can put more than one word in the blank if you think it's appropriate and that people will also do that to try to do a match. So it was the think... same word over and over again. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. And we're uh, up to Muck. Muck mm. uh, Sticky. She went through a drive through vaccination site, tried to order blank. Well, um, I, I had something written down, and I changed it because <clears throat> first I was going to say medicinal cannabis, but then I thought, <laughs> if she smoked <laughs> medicinal cannabis, she probably is aware enough to know where she needs to go, right? Uh, so then I went with uh, what I see a lot of times in out in public is people whacked out on pills. So I went her pills like she was going to her pharmacy. Oh, like the drive-through pharmacy. Okay, so we had to... like you may be able to get your vaccination there too. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, you can. Someone I don't know. A flu shot or CVS along with your flu shot, which you should get as well. And load up and, on all them. I'll do flu shot. I'm vaccinated, but I don't. I don't do flu shot. Katrina is. Katrina is the uh, matching in Memphis, Doctor Fauci. So. <laughs> I, I don't want that. Someone's gonna put a bomb threat on my house. Things are weird, Kevin. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we put on anybody, dude. I'm, just I'm trying sorry. to talk about songs a lot. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's not true. All right. I was going to say she thought she might be Happy able to meal, pick yes. Happy meal matches with Chelsea because I said it was some form fast of Fast food. Price. We're going, yeah, we're going with fast food for Chelsea's answer. I got you, Nancy. As we, as we, as we clarify that. Me and uh, Country Corey should get perfect for we'll matching get with booze and then you know, this, um, uh, delicious Memphis tap water that's in my cup or other drinks what? that might be. Here's to it. Hey, let's get to what's next. Oh, the next question, number three. Are we ready? Are y'all ready for number three already? Please. Let's go. Yeah. We got five <laughs> five total questions tonight. We'll be halfway here. Here's the halfway mark. While looking at the Hernando de Soto Bridge, Claudia said she hasn't seen that much crack since she was Stop talking it. to her blank. God damn yeah. it, Kevin. <laughs> you literally did not just put Claudia and crack in the same sentence. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You are fading us. You're tempting us to sin. No, that's we have we have our regular so. names that we use, Chelsea, in this I'm game. Sure. You might have forgotten them. I'm sure. I'm sure there was no connection whatsoever. All right, she hasn't seen that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
While lo- okay, so here's this. the question again. Let's look at it. I want to make it big screen for everybody as well. While looking at the Hernando de Soto bridge, Claudia said she hasn't seen that much Same crack. Since she was talking to her blank. We are back, folks, every month on the second Monday of the month. If you want to play along to win prizes, CerritoEntertainment.com. Uh, you can find out all the information. You can join us every month. We're going to have uh, awesome grand prizes just like tonight. So we're giving away a pair of tickets to Trey Kennedy. You can bring Muck to the to the, to the the Trey Kennedy show so he gets to find out who Trey Kennedy is. You got to buy him a plane ticket first. That's true. That's, that's, that's going to be costly. And then we've got... <laughs> hey, they got uh, direct flights, but Southwest... Today just messed the bed, so I don't know that I would book it. Wait, what happened today? They blame they had to cancel thousands of flights, and they blamed the air traffic control and all this stuff. And air traffic control, the FAA was like, "Yeah, this has nothing to do with us. Y'all just messed up." And they finally had to be like, "Yeah, we just messed up." <laughs> the uh, so Chelsea chicken sandwich. Does that count as your answer for the last round chicken sandwich? For me. It's yeah, food. yeah. Fast food. I think we're going all fast food for Chelsea. Yeah, that is some sort of fast, fast, fast food. food. I mean, it's on the menu. Yeah. yeah, we're not. It's on the menu. Well, what's the? <laughs> what is? I mean, we've had the. Corey, do you have a? Do you have a favorite fast food uh, chicken sandwich at this point? Mm. Well, the chicken sandwiches mm. we had at home were homemade tonight, so we. I usually eat at home, but if I had mm. a fast food chicken sandwich, I'm going to pick the cheapest one. The cheapest one. Yeah, yeah, if it's a dollar, if it's a dollar, I'm in. Pop, that's McDonald's. That'd be McDonald's. The McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, Amber's look, knows. I used to put hot mustard on the spicy McChicken sandwich. That was pretty good, yep. man. Like for Popeye's a dollar. chicken sandwich. Popeye's chicken hey, sandwich man. is three ninety nine. That's too much. You want to know what's real good? You want to know what's real good? Put some, yes. what? Put some... Take your chicken nuggets and put some Parmesan cheese on your ketchup. Man, change your life. <laughs> okay. Man. Okay, Hell cooking yeah. with muck. Yeah. I got a feeling muck sticky can come up with some damn good munchy recipes. I'm just saying. Hey, I got my own <laughs> seasoning, bro. I'll bet you do. <laughs> Let me he know. Does. I, I have it. You I got have it. Send me one. I'll use it. Well, you put it on. Man, you everything. put it on everything. You put that stuff on everything. All right, reminder of our question number three. While looking at the Hernando Soto Bridge, Claudia said she hasn't seen that much crack since she was talking to her blank. Uh, give you uh, about another 30 seconds or so to put your answers in as we turn our attention to our new panelist tonight, making his matching a Memphis debut this evening. Yes! Well, Ambrose wanted uh, to be on, I wanted to have you here on the, on the panel since we uh, started the show last year. We weren't able to work it out in 2020. Glad to have That's you right. here. You got you got your you got uh, your own show now. That's at right. The three eight one one four show. Can you tell us about this? That's uh you know that's the zip code from Orange Mound, Tennessee. I was representing Orange Mound, Tennessee. So that's the zip code from Orange Mound, Tennessee, and that platform where uh, us uh, people here somewhere where we can talk our sh- you know what I mean. Uh, it's 50 50- episodes do it on youtube it's all over the streaming services uh amazon apple music itunes uh, uh yeah man it's a really good we got doctors on there we got comedians we got uh teachers it's just you know showing uh the the better part of memphis tennessee you know what i mean yeah you can say the words mm-hmm. too you ain't gotta censor yourself kevin already put up the disclaimer <laughs> Oh, we can, curse, <laughs> we can curse on here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted I somewhere where us uh, people here in Memphis can talk our shit. Job. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> man, I got so much shit down there, man. You wouldn't even know. Memphis what? shit is special shit. I think y'all are trying to get me fired. Uh-uh. <laughs> what what about this, Ambrose? <laughs> so we've also got the You Don't Know Me uh, comedy movie. Filmed in Chicago. Okay, so in Memphis. in Memphis. So during the pandemic, it was like February or March of this year. Uh, we 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 shot two shows at the um, at the uh, comedy junk comedy club. Um, uh, 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 Shane, he he filmed it. He's from Chicago also. He was like, let's go home, home and, and film some shows and put them together. I called my boy Damon Wig up. He booked me at a. Uh, comedy club we filmed two shows there 
And so we just mixed the show together, get an hour, hour fresh new stand up. And also, I took everybody to my Memphis, where I grew up at in South Memphis, took them to my high school, Hamilton High School. And in we took them to, to uh, a couple of places out there as well. So it's like an hour stand, and it's a 15 minute documentary here, uh, here in Memphis and Chicago. And you can watch it from your phone if you go to uh, comedianambrose.com. And uh, yeah, you can watch it from your phone. You got the option to buy or rent it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. The, that's it. Yeah, no, yep, so that's you might, it. Do it, from your, do it from your phone, just like this game here tonight. So, like, it's. It's uh, up front. We'll tell you. You can you can see this on. Hey, Rose, tell us if we're posing for pictures so it can look cute. What's that? Tell us if we're posing for pictures, Ambrose, so we can all look cute. Ready? Oh, you think Ambrose taking a picture? Is that yeah, what's happening? I thought he's taking a picture. Oh, we can pose. <laughs> Put all his, right, lo- we get- his, his thing up. <laughs> let's get to our let's get to our answer. Question number three. We've got. Two more questions after this one. Here we go. Question number three, the reminder, while looking at the Hernando Soto Bridge, Claudia said she has not seen that much crack since she was talking to her blank. Since she was talking to her blank. Chelsea, you're up first. Because I don't want to lose my job. Plumber. Thank you. Plumber. (laughs) Boom. No more comments from Chelsea. Well, okay, to be fair, oh, they're on my sheet. To be fair, I did write dealer, and then I turned it over and wrote plumber, but uh, plumber. That's my The car dealer, right? Mm-hmm. All right, we've got the, exactly. the mechanics notoriously. Or the, the one that the, the gold, you sell the gold to. Oh, yeah, the gold. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah. The... And the commercial that's been yeah. out recently. <laughs> Corey! <laughs> well, I had... <laughs> Kelsey gave me an idea. And so my first answer, my unofficial answer is sources. <laughs> but my real answer is she hasn't seen that much crack since she talked to her cousin's friend. <laughs> cousin's friend. So, so far we have plumber and cousin's friend. <laughs> You're up, Ambrose Jones. What do we got here? Um, so... You know, you know the way my mind thinks, man. So she haven't seen that much crack since she was talking to her. Since <laughs> she was talking to her crack. Mm. All right. <laughs> I said all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks us to Katrina Coleman. <laughs> I also understand how to get some points and not cause any problems. Plumber! They ain't gonna match with me. Maybe they don't match to that. That's now, a good one, Katrina. We got to ask Muck a question. I recognize about those. Crap. How are these? You ready, Muck? Aw, thank you. What is happening? Uh. Okay, so uh, I thought about this very uh, intensely, and I uh, I decided to go with her best friend Lindsay Lohan. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Kevin. You came up with the questions, man. I don't know what you expected. <laughs> now looking yeah. at the Hernando I was going to fix bridge. somebody else, but I have respect for the deceit. So. Well, look, you know, there's a joke that runs around with bartenders. You know how to make a Shirley Temple, right? Or, I'm sorry, you know how to make a Lindsay Lohan, right? Mm-hmm. It's a Shirley Temple. A little Coke. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Don't try to throw me under that bus shaking your head. Tiss, tiss, I just hope that somebody else was picking up on what I was where I thought Kevin was going with this. Otherwise, I feel that's why I just took a left and I was like, Plumber, I'm not gonna think about anything else. I'm not gonna go anywhere else. Just plumber. There's a couple for the comedy, man. You know, oh, there's a couple different directions. Okay, guys. 
There are rumors. Couple, couple different ways you could go. So we had best friend crack Lindsay Lohan, plumber, crack, crack. Is crack. crack. cousin's well, cousin friend. Cousin, that'd be dealer. I think that'd be dealer. Cousin's friend. I'll is help a dealer. you back out, Nancy. And then I plumber. Think that's dealer. Well, I mean, who knows? See, you gotta think to match mine. <laughs> go beyond the stratosphere of your conventional answer. Yeah, we need to get high as a kite. Got it. Thank you. All right. It, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta say, it's great to be back. It's great to be back. <laughs> <laughs> when do you bring it back, matching in Memphis? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The question now is, we, we'll, we'll bring it back next month. It'll be back next month the next time somebody asks. All right. Question four. No, you... Question four is coming up, y'all. Get ready. Get your Google Forms ready if you are participating in tonight's contest. Hickory Blank, yes. question four. We need a oh, nice... Uh... I think this is the easy and then it's like fucked up. Hickory Blank. Um, Kevin, if some of my fans are in the chat room, they will uh match with my answers because they know the way I think. So no hints, yeah. no hints. <laughs> <laughs> no hints. <laughs> <laughs> no hint tonight in court. I feel like <laughs> oh, uh, there's like the give a bunch of people yeah, one more question there, right. and then there's the like give a couple people who really deserve it point. Hickory. Come on, man. What else coming after that? I think I, we could go a couple different directions. I mean we will see. We will see. I mean, with some of the answers tonight. Are you ready for mine, Kevin? Well, not yet. No, we go in order. We go in order okay. over there. We go in order. We'll be. We, are you ready? You're all ready to show your answer. You're showing how easy it is. This is very easy. Yeah. Come on, man. Getting some interesting answers in the in the chat. The them the one them the ones I like. I like the very interesting answers. You know what I mean? Use <laughs> you know, your imagination. You know what's so funny is that my answer's done, but it's so funny the people that I know that are in the chat that are here from my page, and I think that's why we—that's why they follow me. We think very similarly. <laughs> that, that's what I just said, Chelsea. Well, I was busy answering. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Hickory blank, Hickory blank, uh, Chelsea. So, hey, since the last time you were on matching in Memphis, you changed your Twitter handle. I did. And because your TV channel changed back to what we all used to call ABC 24. Yes. Um, there is a very, I think, written out answer I'm supposed to say as to why that happened. But basically, it's because um, if I ever told anywhere where I worked, I said that ABC affiliate in Memphis. And so we just went ahead and went with ABC 24. So we were ABC <laughs> Memphis. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the answer. <laughs> yeah, but it did used to be that. It also has been Eyewitness Twenty Four and all these other things. But we're I we ABC Twenty Four now. Oh yeah, it was a, it was Eyewitness. Yeah. That I guess it was Fox Twenty Four. I well yeah because it used to be WHBQ. They swapped. Um, which people don't know that that Fox and that's why it's Good Morning Memphis on Fox because it was Good Morning Memphis to form a Good Morning America. But they did a big digress. switch in the late 90s, yeah. I digress. So are y'all bringing back Joe Cool? That's what I need to know. <laughs> not <laughs> they're not old enough, Kevin. Nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody uh. remembers. Well, here's them. a fun fact. Actually, my mom was on WHBQ, which is Fox, which used to be ABC, and she was the lead go-go dancer on Talent Party, which is the local version of um, American Bandstand. So my mom and I both have been featured on ABC. Muck is trying out for that spot right now. <laughs> That's why him and my mom belong so well. All right, let's get to some answers. This one, this one of our shorter, our shorter questions here. 
<coughs> very could, could have a lot of ways to go, especially locally, right? Because, uh, but not locally, you know, there's a lot of different directions we can go with this one. Let's see where y'all landed. Chelsea Chandler, as always, you're up first. Okay, well, um, two answers. I don't want to say the right one. Um, the okay. Because again, I don't want to get fired. I didn't put one in writing. So first is Hickory Hill, and then it's nickname. Which, if you're from Memphis, you know. And I'm not going to say that. But anyway, Dickory Dot. <laughs> Wait, so Dickory. <laughs> All that you went with Dickory Dot. So you went with the. Yeah. Uh, shout out to those playing not in Memphis. So Dickory Dot. Uh, for for the record, I was born in the first few years of my life. I was raised in Hickory Hill, but I don't want to be disrespectful and call it something that people might be upset about. Come over the I, I know I, someone else from panel's gonna say it, so y'all go ahead and say it for me. Thank you. I can't. I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> you can, you don't use that phrase when you're doing the traffic. No, I do not. Okay, we're going to we're going to Corey. <laughs> I said pretty much the same thing. Hickory Hill, Hickory Smoke. But I'm going to go with Dickory Doc. <laughs> wow, Hickory Dickory Doc. Well, I like to do something different. We got the mouse going up the clock. Ambrose Jones, your fans know what you were going to say. Do we know? Oh, um, he's right for He's writing something else here. Okay, got, yeah, because uh, Chelsea and the uh, other guy took my both answers, and I like to be. No, you just answer. That's how people get points. Okay, right. okay. This one I wrote. I wrote this one first, Dickory Doc, and then I wrote since we barbecue a lot, we got the best barbecue here. I wrote Smoke, but now I want mine to be more original, so I'll go with. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's good. That's good. I, That's I'll good. be honest. That's, that is the first thing I thought about was Hickory Ridge. Like there, you Ridge. I, I there you go. I grew up there. Making a trip on that carousel. That is the best carousel <laughs> ever. The, but, <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So we've got Hickory Ridge. Okay, Hickory Ridge here to Hickory Ridge Mall. Two Hickory Dickory Docks. And I'm kind of in the middle there at first. Go no and Hickory Hill. Hickory Hill. Hickory Hill. See, that's what I couldn't say. Thank you. I know. I know that's what you. I know that's what you wanted to say. Hickory Hill. I, I couldn't say it. I've had so many, too many hookups. I've spent so many overnights. I've uh, listen. I grew I'm up trouble. in trouble. I'm trouble. And Dixie Queen. So I feel as though I should be allowed to say that, but I'm not going to. No. Say. <laughs> Do not say it. I'm not. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, that means, Kevin, can you possibly uh, allow people to have points for Hickory Could? Because Chelsea and I are not going to No, 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 that wasn't my final answer. It was Dickory Doc, so no. <laughs> Hickory Hill's got to be in there. Hickory Hill. Well, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll address that here um, if, if needed. In the event of a, a scoring... Time. All right. Issue. What's going on with Muck Sticky? Now? <laughs> Don't ask Muck. Hey, all right. Hickory Blank, Muck. Hickory. I Hickory like Blank. that. Uh, uh, Y'all got all the good Memphis ones. So I'm going to give my answer <clears throat> in the form of a song. And you'll know the song when I start singing it. And some of you might even know the answer after I start <laughs> singing it before I get to the word. Well, the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. When he came across this young man sawing on the fiddle and playing a hot, and the devil jumped upon a hickory stump and said, Boy, let me tell you what. Nicely done, sir. Stump. Nicely done. Nicely I done. I bet you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player, too. If you can't take a day, I'll make a bet with you. Nicely done. I'm out of water. I was I know you know. a pretty good Would love to know if we got a match on that one. I'd love to know. Lots of dickery docks going on. Lots of dickery. <laughs> Hickory Hill is my final answer. Hickory Hill. No, that's a great answer. And Ridge Mall. That's what makes this a, a, a Hickory Mall, yeah, for sure. Hickory Mall. Is it even open still? Yeah, there's still something open. in that mall. It is still there. I, 
I just remember when it was there and they had Service Master and oh, Charlie's because I go there after church and then I'd go over to Service Master and get myself a My Little Pony. <laughs> hey, I got a funny story for you. <laughs> I, yes. I was one of the Santa's helpers in the Hickory Ridge Mall. No way. Teenager. Mm -hmm. I bet. I and bet. I was the Easter Bunny in the Oak Court Mall. I was <laughs> the dude in the Easter Bunny head. How weird is it that I probably sat in your lap? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, before now. I mean, I have. Like, <laughs> not going to say nothing. Kevin. Leave that one alone. <laughs> Oh, beautiful bean footage. I said that on air the other day, and <laughs> I don't even know where it came from. And people are like, "Did you just say roll that beautiful bean footage?" <laughs> I was like, "Yes, I did." <laughs> Why the fuck would you not? Because it's beautiful. And it's beautiful. It was traffic. <laughs> oh my god! Give me the last question. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> yeah, we do have one more question coming up. Uh, we're about to give away some a, a pair of Trey Kennedy tickets and a pair of tickets to Elvis Costello this Wednesday night. If you're watching on Twitch, you can still enter our random giveaway. Uh, ex uh, exclamation uh, ticket in the chat on Twitch will get you entered to win a pair of Malco movie passes just for watching in Memphis. You don't even have to match anymore. You just got to watch uh, to win. So just for watching over on the Twitch page, you get a chance to win some Malco movie passes. Exclamation ticket will automatically enter you in that contest. We'll draw at the end of the game today. We have one question to go. Question number five. Y'all ready? Yes. Well, it looks like somebody did say hood in that last round. And so Katrina is saying that that's this. We're counting yeah. that. Hickory Hill and Hickory Hood is the same thing. It's, it's allowed. Take a point. There we go. We're ready. Question five. Late last night, Todd's friend dared him to stick his blank in a Gibson's yes! donut. Oh, you're not going to do that. Ah! <laughs> Chelsea has exited the chat. <laughs> you tempt us to sin, Evan for, uh, uh First of all, Gibson does have some good donuts. So, hey, that, fun yeah. fact: you yeah. stick your blank in them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know what I put in a Gibson donut. <laughs> okay, I'm never gonna tell you my fun fact. I don't know what time. The oh, that's what I'm the people who make voodoo donuts that are all over the country, they were trained. They came here yeah. to be trained by Don Weez and Gibson Donuts. That's late last night. So late oh, last night, Todd's friend there. dared him, yes, to stick his oh, blank. Oh, I got it. Stick his blank. Because he used a keyword. You know what? Gibson Donuts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What? What is the answer... <laughs> going to be here uh, so. yeah it, it, my answer is not clean technically james but you would have to you would have to be well versed in a little bit of memphis history for mine all right, well, we figured this out. Let me tell you what we do uh, have coming up here. So now we're playing Matching in Memphis on the second Monday of the month. We're still playing Virtual Bingo, which we've been playing here on Twitch all year long. We're going to still play on the third the third Monday of the month, which is next week. So the week after Matching in Memphis, every month we're going to be playing uh, Virtual Bingo. Next week we have a Looney Tunes edition of Bingo, Looney Tunes themed Bingo, tomorrow night. Or not tomorrow night, next week, one week from today. Uh, but we do have events coming up tomorrow night and all over Memphis. We're back live. We were playing Magic in Memphis before. We were just playing at the drive-in and here on the internet. We do have uh, some other That's events happening. And I'll uh, officially announce our, re uh, our return to Pimentos, Pimentos Burger Bar and Grill. We'll be returning to Pimentos for events starting next week. So a week from tomorrow, we will have Music Bingo at Pimentos in Carverville. And our newest bingo, Music Bingo location, that's at Pimentos in Carverville. We're returning to Pimentos starting in, in November. We will have a weekly trivia at the East Memphis location again. It was one of our most popular 
locations before the pandemic. We're coming back out there. If you've not had that burger at Pimentos, it really might be the best burger uh, in Memphis now. So grab the uh, pimento, the pimento cheese and bacon burger from Pimentos. Here are all of our locations uh, where you can find us now here during the week. Tuesday nights, we've got uh, it's pint night and trivia at TJ Mulligan's on Madison. Uh, Avenue. We've got uh, tr- uh, also on Tuesday this week, we're playing at uh, Bingo in Overton Square. Thursday nights now is Celtic Crossing Bingo. We announced last night, uh, well, last week to our patrons that we'll be moving Celtic Crossing Bingo to Thursday nights. Also on Thursdays, we have Grind City Brewing Company where you play music bingo. Get a Tiger and, Tail. <laughs> yes, Tiger Tail Beer, the official beer of the Memphis Tigers. Uh, music bingo now on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting next week. So Tuesdays at Pimentos and Carville, Thursdays at Grind City Brewing Company. Wednesday night, we still got theme trivia, Rail Garden in Midtown, Dan McGinnis in South Haven, and coming soon to Pimentos in East Memphis. Uh, this week's theme, this week's uh, theme, we've got Schitt's Creek trivia. Coming up, We've we're going to be playing Hocus Pocus trivia, an annual tradition, and the Office Halloween episode trivia. So CerritoEntertainment.com. Keep up with all we've got happening uh, here, but right now we're playing Matching in Memphis, which is the second uh, Monday of the month, and we are on the final question. Late last night, Todd's friend dared him to stick his blank in a Gibson's donut. I hear it's a very tight race here at the end panel, so make sure you're putting an answer here. We need to get some we need some good answers so we can get some good matches uh, as as we uh, finish finish off the night. Muck Sticky, I haven't talked to you much tonight. We've it's good to see you again. It's good to see all of your faces as well. I've uh, been uh, been looking forward to this for a good minute. No, you're supposed to say you've missed us. That's what I said. It's good to see your faces, and I've missed you too. <laughs> what have you been up to, Muck? Man, I've been chipping gooeyons and been diving in pools and launching a new music group. I think that's yeah. where we're headed there. That too. <laughs> that's what I think we're trying to let you plug here. Oh yeah. Uh last Friday we made a song or we put out a song and it's real we're real excited about it. It's called Shoreline. The band's called the Low Highs. I like the shirt I'm wearing. Oh, yeah. We're excited about it. <clears throat> it's a new direction of a. Uh, you know, I've been building up a bunch of tunes over the course of my life that I uh, just haven't really felt like we're right for the muck sticky world thing, you know? And I mean, I'm still muck sticky, but I'm kind of, you know, I got other things to say besides, hey, everybody be happy and smoke weed, you know? So, so the low highs is the name of the new, your new, your new. Yeah, group. and plus it's with, uh, it's, me and another guy, uh, my friend Nick Diani, are uh, writing the songs together. My mom's writing some songs in it. We uh-huh. I've worked with a couple of musicians. My buddy uh, Paul Crosby from the band Saliva, who plays drums, did the drums on the track. And uh, then uh, my buddy Dick Avon, who's like a serious uh, multi-instrumentalist guy, plays saxophone for Jamie Johnson right now, but he played with the Four Tops and a bunch of people. He did the saxophone on it. And uh, so really excited, man. Songs, we're, we're stoked about it. We're going to be shooting a music video here in the next couple weeks, but there's a lyric video that we released the other day that you can go watch if you're so desire. Do you, uh, so, Muck, do you wear pajamas to the beach? I did. I do. I'm still going to wear pajamas doing what I do. I mean, but they may not all like be like bright and colorful and whatever because you know there are times when i get sad too you know and have over the course of my career but under the whole muck sticky thing you know it's like oh you got to be happy and fun all the time or else we don't care for it and so you know i've kind of uh uh for a while catered to what people wanted from me as an artist and now i'm deciding to do what i want to do as an artist so and if anybody don't like it they can do what my latest viral song says fuck right off i'm not gonna be able to play this game with y'all anymore i like i like it the uh you said we could cuss come on now (laughs) it's an after you you can tell ambrose that he can cuss and that you're mad at me because i cuss (laughs) i said it 
I can't. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got we have Ambrose. Ambrose's uh, audio. Uh, Ambrose, what were you saying? Go ahead. I, I was just saying, Ambrose. or or they can if they don't like it, they can stick their vaccinated arm in a Gibson donut. Oh, well, he's already giving spoilers of his answer here. Let's find out. Great segue. Last night, Todd's friend dared him to stick his blanket at Gibson's Donuts. To the panel, our final answers. They could decide the game and decide who's going to Graceland. Chelsea, you're up first. Well, based off context clues, I just went ahead and do it. And if my boss is watching, I'm talking about the IPA. But if you're not, I'm not. Rockbone. <laughs> you have a rockbone happening? Have we est- have we established that? Like that is the perfect matching in Memphis version of that other show you referenced earlier. Answer. That's the perfect answer for that. That's the perfect answer for that. That's the perfect. There's answer. only two possible. I've gotten down to. There's only two possible people that it could have been that day. And that's all I'm gonna say. You can't say you can't say let them live. Let them live. Somebody. No, 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 no. Live. Because I'm I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it the way I'm saying. But it's it's down to two people. <laughs> I have a buddy. Kelsey's coming out like, with a true crime podcast on who tweeted <laughs> Rock. Lost here. But well, that's not. Anyway. For all those who don't know, Rockbone was an. Uh, it's a scandal. Was, Just type in Memphis Rockbone, and you'll find out real quick. <laughs> it wasn't just like. The Twitter accident, we'll call it. Mm, Dared him to stick his rock bone in a Gibson's donut. Ah! Country, country Corey, what do you got here? Blank. Uh, Hang stick on, I'm writing blanket. down Memphis rock bone. I'm going to look that up later. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not know what that is? <laughs> so I uh, yeah, got down to look it up before my answer. So. <laughs> Tune went, in, uh, 98 uh, won the max tomorrow. Uh, country Corey's uh, uh, recapping of his Google be, search. Of rock so I went with uh, my fun answers are... The beautiful bean footage <laughs> and hickory smoke. Stick it through that donut. <laughs> Stick that bean footage right in the middle of that donut, baby. But I thought it would be funny if somebody stuck their nose in a Gibson's donut. Nose, that's a good answer. Good answer. The hickory smoke. I like that. I like that. Good call back. Uh, hickory smoke. All right. Ambrose Jones. All we right. Nose, so- we have rock bone. Okay, I'm thinking that they are drunk, you know, asking his friend to stick something in a get donut. So, uh, I'm gonna go with a big toe, and big I toe. think that fit that fit perfectly. Also, that's what I think. <laughs> that's a big, big toe. <laughs> well, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Said, Katrina, oh, yeah. when you regain your composure here, we've got, oh, we're going all across the body right now. Will you I, continue that journey? Oh, see, if you have our team getting, like, double points, <laughs> I certainly wrote that at the first. What is it? What? Wait. It's a sting dong. Oh, okay. Bring it, <laughs> bring it home. Silly, you know, bring it home. I was bring it home, Katrina. Like, but what I wrote was kolache, which is the sausage thing. They have at donut shops. No, they have it. Okay. <laughs> it's like kolaches. It's like a cheese filled sausage. Like they get a blanket thing. Sounds pretty good. I don't know. It was. It was dick. <laughs> Wait, you dare us, this? Let's Would you dare? Up for a dick joke. Um, I got this you. is the only dick joke that doesn't involve. Uh, I know what you mean, sausage. Katrina. I know what you mean. It also seems like it might be nice to have a sausage in a place. Donut. Okay, they have the bacon know. donut. They have the bacon donut. Yeah, I was going to say the maple bacon. I don't know. I don't know. Go so, on, Muck. So, Muck, how old were you when you worked at Gibson's Donuts? <laughs> I didn't work at Gibson's Donuts. It's a joke, Mick. <laughs> you you Muck, worked there. You <laughs> it was a joke because you worked everywhere. You worked at Adventure River. <laughs> Surprisingly <laughs> enough, I did not work there. But I did uh, when Hell's Kitchen came through town to audition. The late I knew the lady who ran the casting thing, and so she had me like help do these casting things. And uh, Britain. 
came through there and so we became buds and then i started going to gibson's i've been going to gibson's but then i started going to gibson's after that and they treat me so good over there i go i gotta show them lots of love because they just treat me so nice every time i've ever been there and uh got a lot of love for gibson's donuts uh so uh my answer on uh the thing i guess is i'm just gonna have to go with something can you recap the answers just for me one more time to make sure but Sorry. Yes, of course we have rock bone from Chelsea. i got a lot of stuff going on here at one time I, <laughs> he's got a I brand new band he's got a brand new band to get here on time only to find out that i could have done this for my cell phone by my man amber <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've got yeah. rock. We got rock bone. We've got nose. Uh, we've got uh, big, big toe. toe, sausage, kolache, uh, which is a sausage. Yeah. yeah. Tongue. Tongue. There you go. That too dirty for you guys. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to fit anybody. Sorry. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> those are all the answers tonight. So we are going to tally the scores and find out which uh, team is going to win those tickets. We will be back here streaming again, Matt, uh, next week. As I mentioned, our virtual bingo game. If you have not played virtual bingo with us, that's a bingo. I can yeah, never yeah. hear that word without thinking of Christoph Waltz and Inglorious Bastards when he's like, "That's a bingo." <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I need to rewatch that movie. I don't think I've seen it since I, I got in the bingo business. The uh, good movie. The, you're in the bingo business. <laughs> I mean, I, that I you just bingo. That you're in the. Kevin, you're the only person I know in the bingo business. Kevin, that's right. Been that's in right. the bingo business for like a decade. I know, right? He's the bingo king of Memphis. And, Are you uh, the farmer or the dog? Just out of curiosity. B i n g. <laughs> I just want to take these. I don't want like to do It's K E V A K E V A K E V A. While we await the final scores, while we await the final scores, we're going to draw. We're going to draw our Twitch winner tonight. Our Twitch winner. Taking home a pair of Malco movie passes. As uh, so we uh, draw our winner, Kathy975 on Twitch. Kathy975. Hell yeah, Kathy, you... get that shit. Hellfire, she got a 33 chance to win. That's pretty good. Yeah. Kathy, congratulations. Yeah. A pair wow. of Malco movie passes coming your way. Malco located in six different states. Malco based out of Memphis. What's what's that tattoo tattoo Mars there? Tax. Is that Mars Attacks? Is that a mutt? Yeah. Why do I know what? so much about they're coming? What? No, bro, what's your tattoo? <laughs> it's Mars Attack. Mars oh fuck yeah, Mars Attacks. Because they're coming and all. So I'm just I'm here it's like a preliminary. Yeah, I got my I got my foil hat ready. Feel things out and see. Okay. Go the <laughs> All right, before we announce, before we before we announce uh, the winners Stop here. Stop playing Slim Whitman while I'm on the program, please. We're, uh, before we uh, r- wrap things up, let's go around the horde. Chelsea, tell people uh, what they uh, they can tune in tomorrow, right? Tomorrow morning, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five a.m. to seven. Just and tell then, us now. Uh, is it going to rain tomorrow or night? Then you can call in, right? It is not supposed to rain tomorrow. Okay, so we had cold front come through today, but it was a weak one, but. We got one coming through on Thursday that's going to drop temperatures into the 60s and the 40s. So, there you go. So, when, when you're near a TV, turn on uh, Chelsea. But you could, uh, if you're near a radio, turn on Country Corey. Now, 98 won the max. Tomorrow morning on the way to work, we're going to talk about what your name would be if you were born in the place you were conceived. Oh my gosh, you know what's so funny is that my parents tell me, and I hate this, my parents tell me that if, my, if I was a boy, my name would be Raleigh. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's an interesting discussion. I would have been there. You go, Corey. You have some content. Yeah. 
Good fun. Good fun. Yeah, no. They tell me that because they know it makes me cringe. <laughs> but happy birthday, Dad, right? Well, happy birthday, yeah. Dad. <laughs> happy so birthday, Dad. And so I went to one of my friends, and so my friend even took me to the, the, um, the hotel and everything. I was like, I hate you so much. <laughs> you know, I mean, so a- Ambrose, 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 Ambrose Jones. So where? So we've, you've got lots of stuff going on. You've got the three eight one one four show. That's on this Thursday. That's on new episodes drop every Thursday. Yeah, there's fifty eight episodes up now. Episode fifty nine is going to drop Thursday, and uh, I'm sitting here. I, I, I remain healthy. My sea moss and bladder texture that I created. Uh, sea moss contains 92 of them that your body needs. Bladder rack contains the other nine. Mm-hmm. And you can get that those at uh, comedian, comedianambrose.com. All right. Well, that was efficient, Ambrose. Nicely done. My, Thank you, my sir. My grandma's got okay. a CBD texture that looks a lot like that. Sure that's that's good. You put it under your... Oh, like yeah, that's it. good. Next time I'm down yeah, to the beach, I'm just going to grab a big hunk of that sea moss and start gnawing right <laughs> on it. That's, that's, that's right. You know what? And you take it and you let it soak in 80 proof vodka for six weeks and that alcohol extracts all the minerals out of it, put it on your tongue and your salivary glands, take it straight to your bloodstream. And you get yeah. drunk as hell. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's not enough to get you drunk. <laughs> I'm going to keep y'all away from my grandma. She weighs 78 pounds. Y'all can't have it. What's up, hey, Corey? Friend? I, I, yeah, that's my I only son. weigh 80. That's not a son. That's an adult. James name. Dixie should be asleep, and so should I. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> all right. It's Katrina. <laughs> we got, oh, we got some, some more uh, <laughs> dude, guest like, dude, cameo appearances video. here. I get mad at the people for blowing Katrina. Me. Katrina, you uh, are plugging your, uh, your giving vaccination shots. I am not personally getting vaccinated. So <laughs> uh, I am looking forward to bringing You Look Like Back uh, live, finding a new venue for it, and also really working hard on creating a new format with a uh, high tone called Fuck, Mary Kill, which is exactly what it sounds like, but we want to add some new shit into it. So I'm really excited about doing that. So that's what I'm doing. Just Planning to be ready to like get out again and let people breathe on me. Muck sticky. He'll what breathe do you on have you. going on? Man, I'm just chilling, bro. <laughs> Muck, will, you, will you be back with us? Will you be back with us next week? I mean, we could do the show without you, but I just I wouldn't recommend it. Are you doing the hot seat? Next weeks, right? month, I mean, next month. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh-huh. I'm so used to it. We did like 15 weeks in a row of this thing. If I don't get weeks. kicked off nope. from my foul behavior, I guess so. Will you shut up? You're, uh, Muck's <laughs> new song, fantastic. Fantastic song. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying the new the new vibe from Muck. Uh, well, thank you. Mixed with the old vibe, of course. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to put out a Muck Sticky album out here pretty soon, too. I think we're recording tunes, you know, and... Uh, Man, just enjoying breezes and uh, looking out across the great beyond, staring into the distance, and you know, uh, they so say making jewelry. So making jewelry. Yeah, I'm making jewelry, and uh, I'm. Uh, Man, I'm all kinds of good papers. stuff. Like I said, I'm putting birdies and uh, all kinds of good stuff. I'm <laughs> putting birdies. Well, I love it. The, uh, I appreciate all y'all being here for the, the big return, season two premiere here of, of Matching in Memphis. We will str- be streaming wherever you watched it tonight. You'll be able to watch it again uh, next month, but you, episodes will live. If you miss an episode, of course, you can't go back and win prizes, but you can go back and watch if you would like to. Uh, uh, do that. Uh, episodes will be uh, living up on on YouTube uh, as well, uh, as long as Chelsea keeps her job. It's an IPA, guys. It's a beer. Rockbone is a beer at Memphis Made. I can confirm. It is an IPA. 
The winners tonight. Here's what we've got. We have a tie between two teams. Two teams are tied. So we've got two pairs of tickets that we're giving away. What we're going to do is these teams are going to they're going to somehow share these two pairs of tickets. So uh, Ruchi Man and Wiley Coyote tied with six matches over. I don't know how they got six matches. Wow. How did they get with six Ambrose, matches? That, with Ambrose and Ambrose. <laughs> I'm my, my finger's real sore. Can you see? My finger's real sore. Smells my terrible. My plant's getting big. The, yeah. Uh, you can't have take us home. I'm sorry. All right, so what yeah. are we supposed to do? We have to, what's the tiebreaker? There's, we're not going to have a tiebreaker. We're going to make we're, last we're, night, we got two pairs of tickets tonight, so we're going to give um, each of uh, we're going to give them each a pair of tickets. We're going to have to figure out which show they're going to. So we had we had two. They're going to split the prize. They had six matches. We're not going to make them break that. So we will. What if they both want the same thing? Well, then we will. Things. We'll be back here live tomorrow for a live wrestling match. You know, I am the host of Nine One Wrestling. I yes, will, uh, I, I saw so, you last um, last month, right? That is right, Ambrose. That's where we bumped into each other. You're yeah. good friends with the new 901 Wrestling Champion, Contour, Contour the Great. That's right. Contour <laughs> the Great. <laughs> Contour, who, who was on the very first matching in Memphis, Moth, yeah. Katrina, Chelsea. You might remember yeah. Contour. He is now the 901 Wrestling Champion. Buddies with, with uh, Ambrose. He was there. Uh, oh, you yeah, know, he wanted me to wear the belt on my forecast. And mm -hmm. I said, okay. It is. Um, it is he he also has an interesting story. Um, he's uh, he went to jail. He went to jail for like uh, six or seven years. You can check him out on the three eight one one four show. I think episode. Oh, cool! So you got it. Yeah, Contra's got he's a very cool. very interesting story. Contra right? is like a great dude. Yeah, Only uh, adding to it here. I see nine one wrestling champion. Next nine one wrestling show November sixth at the Black Lodge. Uh, right, folks, 6th. that's it. Yeah. And my plant Remember started singing to me last night, y'all. Who know did? Thing? My plant started singing to me. Oh yeah. Well, can, can your will your plant will your plant take us out tonight? Can they? If I, I can, let me turn off the background music. Will they close out the show? Uh, no, I can't go into the. I can't go into that room, man. Right now, he's uh, he's 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 real mad these days, man. He started singing this song about being a mean green mother from outer space and. <laughs> I'm scared and I'm not sure what to do right now. I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get me and my girlfriend out of here, but she's reluctant to come. She's not sure. She's dating this dude and he's like a really bad abusive biker cat kind of guy. He's a dentist, right? And uh Oh, yes, yes. yes. He's, very, he's very ruthless as he does it. And uh so I'm trying to get her away from him, but I, I I'm scared the plant's going to it might eat me or one or one or her or one, I'm not sure. I'm. I gotta work on that. That's Look at the plant. Late, you should be the first time a plant got hot off you because. <laughs> I had, uh, I had oh, yeah, Seymour. I'm sure it'll be fine. Seymour on the other arm. Did we do team me? Is C C C Seymour Muck's real name is Seymour? Is that is are you saying I his real name? We just found out. That we're no, <laughs> I could tell you what his real name is. I his real name is Muck. I don't. His real name is Muck. Real name, last name, Sticky. Suddenly, Seymour, standing beside you. <laughs> don't need no makeup. <laughs> don't have to pretend. Suddenly, Seymour. Where are you, Kalele? He's here to provide you with sweet understanding. Me. Seymour's your friend. On that, that note. Oh yes, on that note. That is <laughs> any, any more music you wanna any more music, Mark? Or we you uh we uh I'm a real music theater kid. I think me and Muck have that in common. <laughs> Katrina needs to sing us a song. Next month, oh, Katrina. I'm gonna do it. You're not gonna talk yeah. to me. I'm grown. Yeah, we have two oh, Katrina. I can't hear. You're not going to hear pressure me. Okay. Sing, don't worry, be happy. Just one bar. The the two the two panels next to me I get up really early uh, in the morning, uh, so we 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 got to go. Thank you all so much for everybody uh, for tuning in, everybody who, who participated. Congratulations to our winners panel. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you again. It's so much fun to do this again. I can't wait uh, to to reconvene on a monthly basis. So we. Uh, 
can uh, play some more uh, matching moments. Hopefully I'll see a lot of y'all here uh, again next month. Uh, that and goes for those folks uh, tuning in. Uh, you Buck, can reuse so your answers next month, by the way. Yeah, just reuse them, yeah. Just reuse <laughs> the same answers. You'll win. It's just hickory smoke on every answer. Hickory smoke. Hickory smoke. <laughs> Chelsea, uh, Corey, Ambrose, Katrina, Muck, thank you all very much. Uh, that no is problem. it. Uh, uh, 